being here for 18 years, I've kind of been able to be an extended part of the family. The Galleon home is just a big overgrown family. It, it's a ministry, but just like families change, um, the Galleon home has changed over the years. But the vision has always been to reach out to the kids that need a place to be. Um, at one point, it was a lot of kids from other countries, and then the door, at least for now, has been closed to that. Um, it's been helping the the women and their babies, the women who are incarcerated, um, and that's become a little bit more complicated over the years with the red tape. Um, but the the red tape of social services sometimes needing to be involved in situations. But the the vision and all that the Galilean home does has still been, who is God put in our path that we can reach out to? Having been a part of the Galilean home for as long as I have and living on the property, then the Blessing House kids, as we call them, have always just been a blessing. Um, whether it's me on my way from the cabin where I live up to the Angel House to work and Mary Beth is sitting on the porch with her smile and um, her hugs, um, I try to make sure I get a good quota of Mary Beth hugs. I know um, that the Lord uses this ministry to, to reach out and share the gospel and make disciples on one way is simply the, the people that come by for tours. There are sometimes people that have been on the mailing list that come by on purpose and other times with the Angel House being the first building that people come to when they come on to the Galleon Home property, sometimes people stop by saying, Hey, we were just driving by and we saw this place. What is it? Well, there's so much that goes on here on a day-in, day-out basis that um, there's a lot that people can do to support us simply by, by praying. And it's not just the praying that we would get the supplies and provisions we need, which that's, you know, when you have dozens of residents and things like that, that's important. But just the, the day-in, day-out, the Lord directing what's going on here um, because... Again, as time changes things and we have to try to figure out, so God, what are you having us do now? Because the Galilean home has been around for years and years, and although we want to continue the vision for caring for those that need to be cared for, sometimes that's going to flesh out in different ways. And so for the Lord to continue to show us individually um, you know, what our role is here, and then the Galleon home in the bigger picture, what does God have for the Galleon home in going forward into the next year and the next decade and, and so forth. I, I like to tell sometimes when the opportunity comes up about um, me having been part of the Galleon home for these many years, um, I have appreciated knowing um, Jerry's humbleness in in running a place like this that over the years, sure, people aren't always going to agree with how he's done things and have told him so. And he's humbly said, well, you can start your own children's home. Um, but in, in that, in my years of being here, there's been times that I had been fed up with something that had happened or, you know, a new rule or a policy or, or something that I didn't necessarily like for myself. And I remember early on, I'd been here a couple years, and something had come up, and I thought that I was ready to go on to some other short-term opportunity. But having been reading through the New Testament a little at a time, I was in Galatians, and I sat down with Galatians 5 one day. And um, Galatians 5 one starts out, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ has set you free which is a good verse anyway, but it jumped off the page at me because it said, Stand Fast in Liberty. And the address here at the Galilean Home is Liberty, Kentucky. And so the Lord has used that on more than one occasion when the verse has come up again in either a, a sermon or a devotional. Um, you know, kind of the bloom where you're planted, the grass isn't greener on the other side of the fence, that God has me here as part of the Galilean Home, and I'm blessed to be a part of something that... Um, that the Lord I know is using. Sure, as individuals, we're not perfect. The Galilean home itself isn't perfect, but it is a big family wanting to continue to reach out to the fatherless. The, the verse we have on a sign, 
um, I can't remember the reference, but the defend the poor and fatherless and do justice for the afflicted and needy, and that's, that's what our goal is. Hi, I'm Pastor Chuck Reesh. I'm the executive producer at Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry, and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world, to shine their light, and let God get the glory for the work that's being done in advancing the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Thanks again for praying for us.